So they have a clinical patient. We have a lesion. What could this lesion possibly be? Is this an oral manifestation of a systemic disease? Is this a local disease process? What do we need to do to diagnose it? What type of treatments, if needed, that these patients may need to have? Sometimes the biopsy would be the treatment for the patient, and sometimes the biopsy would just be the diagnosis. Once the biopsy has been completed by the surgeon, the specimen would come to the lab, we'll accession it, take it out the bottle, look at it, we'll do the gross description of it, we'll prepare to get processed in order to be made into a glass slide. And then once it's made into a glass slide, I'm able to look at it underneath the microscope. So I'm looking at the uh, pattern of the specimen underneath the microscope. I'm also looking at the individual cells and putting the pattern together, what I'm seeing, the types of cells that I'm seeing, the different characteristics of those cells, I'm able to come up with a diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is rendered, then we can issue a pathology report that's given back to the surgeon, and then it's up to the surgeon to refer the patient for the next appropriate treatment step. With dentistry, there's something in it for everyone. There's something there that can spark the interest of a business major and owning dental companies and having corporations. There's things there for the artists, creating beautiful smiles for patients. There's things there for the surgeons who want to cut things and get into like the really bloody, gory stuff. Um, and there's like the lab rats like myself. If you want to just sit in a room with your microscope and you know, look at what's happening under there. And so that's why I love dentistry so much because it is so diverse in the uh, possibilities as to what you wanna do with that career.